Hey, it's Zach from Ethics Archery. So beginning asks the difference between brass components and aluminum components, as we don't do brass components. Um, when we're looking at brass and aluminum, they're both softer metals compared to, say, something like steel. So structural integrity-wise, they're on par with one another. Um, this is a 245 diameter shaft, but is there a benefit from going to, a, say, a 50 grain brass to a 50 grain aluminum? The answer is yes. For the fact that your FOC is not going to change, it's still 50 grains, but the aluminum component is longer. So what that means is it's going to reinforce that arrow deeper, it's a deeper internal footer than, say, brass. So what that means as far as impact goes, that now the any sort of side leverage you place on a component system is going to cause flex. The greater that we can increase that distance of what that force can be distributed over, then it leads to less bends, breaks, failures, etc., and with it sitting deeper into the arrow shaft, it's going to stiffen up your arrow's reaction. So again, from a penetration standpoint, if the arrow is flexing less on impact, it's going to penetrate better. Um, so we've got it in you know, the 204 diameter as well. We have a longer aluminum hit versus a brass hit. So brass insert versus aluminum insert. Structural integrity again. They're softer metals. They're on par with one another. The takeaway is your FOC is not going to change, but you are going to stiffen up the air reaction. You're going to reinforce that front end section over a greater distance for side load. So it's a win in my book going from brass to aluminum. If you guys have any questions, let us know.